The murder case that had McLennan County in the national spotlight more than 30 years ago, and now, thanks to a new Netflix documentary, it is being told again. News 10's Drake Lawson spoke with a local attorney who is at the very center of it. Drake, what is the series called? Tara, the new documentary called The Confession Killer centers around Henry Lee Lucas, the man who confessed to Texas Rangers that he committed hundreds of murders back in the 1980s. Now, one of the key interviews in that documentary, former McLennan County DA Vic Fazell, who doubted Lucas's confessions almost from the start. And I'll even admit to the crime. Nicknamed The Confession Killer. He wasn't that bright, but he wasn't stupid. He had a good memory. The story of Fazell's role in discrediting Lucas caught the attention of producers from the limited Netflix series. Fazell questioned Lucas's confessions he gave to the Texas Rangers almost from the start. You indict him, we'll plead him, you plead him guilty, get your picture taken with us and, and this modern day Hannibal Lecter, you know, this real life Hannibal Lecter, and uh, we'll be on our way. That sounded good to me. But I looked at the confession, and the confession didn't make sense. Claiming that his own investigation of Lucas made him the focus of a criminal investigation that led to a federal indictment, his arrest, and ultimately a federal trial. I was arrested because I called together the special grand jury to figure out how Lucas could confess to all these murders that our investigation had shown he couldn't possibly have committed. I know what's going on. I said all along, I'll still be proven right. I held my thumbs up and said, you know what's going on here, and I'll still be proven right. I, I was found not guilty the next year, but it took nearly 30 years for me to be proven right about that murder. And that is what Fazell hopes the documentary will do. Prove that Lucas wasn't the serial killer he claimed to be and motivate authorities to reopen cases closed because of his questionable confessions. Back then, these murders were considered unsolvable. Well, they're not anymore. We have DNA comparison. Fazell is now in private practice with offices in Austin and Waco. He also does a podcast in which he discusses the cases on which he's worked, including Lucas. Other people, they read about crimes and talk about them. We talk about events that we've experienced, people we know. But Fazell hopes viewers can take away one simple message from the series. Have the courage to do what's right, not what's easy. Now, Lucas was ultimately convicted of 11 murders, including the death of a woman whose body was found along I-35, known as Orange Socks. He was sentenced to death for that killing, but that sentence was commuted, and he died in prison of heart failure back in 2001. In studio, Drake Lawson, KWTX News 10.